What? You're flying to China without even setting up Alipay? Well, good luck paying for food. But don't worry, in this video, I will show you how to use your Visa card to pay anywhere in China where no Chinese bank account needed. Get your account ready, link your card, and stick around till step 9 because I will review two insider hacks that will let you dodge fees and even transfer money to friends. Here is everything you need. A smartphone, a valid ID, your international bank card, a phone number to get SMS. Got all that? Great, let's set it up together. From the App Store, download the latest Alipay app, open it, register it with your phone number and sign in. Foreigners get stuck on Alipay all the time. Watch this step carefully and you will set it up in minutes. Alipay actually offers two different modes. International mode, is a simplified version suited for foreigners. The standard mode is a full-featured app for Chinese users with more functions that foreigners don't need. To switch, tap me, the gear icon, switch versions, and choose international. Your screen will now look much cleaner. I keep hearing foreigners say that they're worried about giving their personal info to a Chinese app because of privacy. Mm. But didn't you already hand all of your data to Facebook? Anyways, if you're ready to actually get set up, let's verify your identity. Go to account, the gear icon, account and security, identity information. Mine is already verified. You will just click basic identify information and fill in your name, birth date, and etc. Then click on verification photo and upload your passport photo. When it says verified, you're all good to go. Click account, bank cards, and top right, add bank card. Alipay accepts Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, JCB, UniPay. Enter your card number, expiry, and CVC, just like Apple Pay. You can add multiple cards and pick which one to use at checkout. Before spending, keep these in mind. These are super important. I highly recommend liking and saving this video. That way, if you run into any Alipay issues later, you will know exactly why and how to fix them. And while you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find it easily again later. Alipay for foreigners is meant for consumption only. Direct friend transfers aren't a law. In step nine, I will share a hack to bypass this restriction so you can actually transfer funds to friends directly in Alipay. There is a 5,000 RMB per transaction and 50,000 RMB per daily limit. There is also a 3% fee for over 200 RMB transaction. My second hack lets you save hundreds of yuan. Make sure you watch till the very end. Refunds would also return the fee proportionally. Exchange rate fluctuate at your card's issuer's rate at the moment of purchase. There are two main ways to pay. Number one, scan merchant's QR code. Tap scan, enter the amount. Two, show your payment code, tap pay. Let vendors scan. This code refreshes every minute for security. You can also use NFC or facial recognition if it's supported. I included a picture of some common issues and how to solve them. Check it out if you run into any issues. If this is helpful, subscribe so you don't miss any hacks coming up next. Now you will learn how to save hundreds of RMB and send money to anyone by learning these two hacks. Hack number one, the fake merchant transfer. You technically cannot transfer money to friends, but here is the loophole. Have your friend generate a receive money QR code in Alipay. It looks like a merchant code. You scan it, enter the amount, and boom, the system thinks it's a purchase. Hack number two, 200 yen split strategy. To avoid the 3% fee on big transactions, ask the vendor to split payments into chunks under 200 RMB. Two or three splits usually work. That's it. You've set up Alipay and learned the limits. And now you know two insider hacks to save money and transfer to friends. I'm Donna. I share tips that help foreigners feel confident traveling and living in China. Like and subscribe and share it with someone coming here soon.